Alright, so now, before this video can begin, I just want to explain a little bit something about this program that I had gone to a few months ago. Uh, this stone lab here in Ohio, uh, we went up there to do some science experiments with the Waite High School area. We went with, I went with Waite High School, obviously, because that's my high school. That's where I go to learn. My science teacher, I do believe I showed her in the video. I'd have to go back and recheck. So more than likely I did. She pulled names out of a basket, so not all, all the students went. It was more of a lottery ticket to win. I just want to give a huge thanks to the guys at the Stone Lab. I want to give a thanks to Miss Dunn, our science teacher, Miss Spetz, Miss Miller, and Mr. Murphy, all at Waite High School. Big thanks to them. Here's the video. Cut just a little bit deeper there. There you go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is pull out the heart. Who wants to cut the heart? Saw him raise his hand first. <clears throat> Alright, so this is a tiny little guy here. We got a little perch. So I'm going to want you to cut. <coughs> see this right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so grab the scissors. And I want you to cut right there, right at the top of that little white portion you see. Here. Yep. Here we go. Eat your heart out, Julia Child. <laughs> so, here we have the heart. And we might actually be able to get the heart to beat here on our wrists. Oh my god. So, since it's just freshly dead like this, if we take the heart out and put it on the heat of our wrists, it will actually match our own heartbeats. So That's as you can cool. see there, it's starting to pump, and it is matching my heartbeat right now. Why does it do That's that? That's so cool. Why does it do this? <laughs> so, I think it's the physical movement that will kind of match up with that physical movement of the pulse that you have feel. That's kind of cool, because music does the same thing. Yep. So if you guys noticed, when I first put it on there, it wasn't beating. After I gave it a few taps with the... Mm -hmm. Started beating. So, if anybody wants to put this on her wrist, I'm good. Science It looks like it's like lifting up its head or something. Oh, that's so cool. I'm okay. I'm about to say, look, I have no heartbeat. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes students will be in here and they'll be a little nervous, and all of a sudden that heart will start racing a little bit faster. I know. I'm trying to get mad or something. I'm trying to make my heart race. Just think of me. This is automatically to see the heartbeat. Oh, there you go. I just cut that out, man. This is heart. I open that. Can I, uh, I have video evidence. Yeah. Let's see if I can get my heart fast. You can feel it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cold. Run a mile and come back to us. No, Run a mile? No, no, all I need is go back and I can get it up. Yeah. It's really neat. Alright, now we're moving on. No? Yeah. Alright. So, the next thing we're going to do is take out the liver. Can anybody point in here? Point me to the liver. It's right. Yeah, it's so the red thing. This? The worst thing right here. Right here? Yes. Okay. Who wants to cut the liver out? Who's next? I will. 
Uh, I just want to record this. <laughs> this is interesting. All right, so let him come forward. Here. All right, so use the little scissors, yep. And you want to cut around a couple okay. lobes here. And get the stuff out of the way. You want to cut at the base of this, right? Right in there. I have to go too deep. Right there, I get it. Okay, here, cut where the, right at the base of my. There you go. I don't know. See where it's connected there? Oh, 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 oh. There there. Yep. Alright. So that's the little guy's liver. Anybody know what a liver does? Uh, it filters out uh, all the bad things. Yep. So it kind of um, helps filter the um, blood and urine. That's why alcoholics die. <laughs> yes. Yes. You are correct. Me and right. my family. So next here. thing we're going to look for <laughs> is the stomach. So is what we're going to do is we're going to insert the back of this pin through the mouth. Oh. And once we do that, once you stick it in, It'll go all the way up to the stomach, and you'll be able to see where the stomach is. So, who wants to stick this in? Yep, okay. I'll do the next one. Yep, the bolt dolan. All right. Neat. So, let me open the mouth here. Try the mouth. Dang. Is it possible I'm going to get locked all while they're dead? I don't know. It's just called the Can you see where that's going in there? What's that? Okay, so this fish looks like a little small to get all the way in his stomach. Oh, we kind of stomach it is right here. Yeah, it's the gray thing. Right. Yep. So it looks like it does have some stuff in its stomach right now. So who wants to cut out the stomach? Everyone who hasn't done something yet. You. Ronnie hasn't cut yet. I got to put the <laughs> Okay, I need you to scoot over so she can fit in. Here. I got the first box. Alright, so take these scissors here. And you're gonna cut at the base of the stomach right here. See where that, the end of that probe is? Right here? Mm -hmm. That's cut right at the base of that. There you go. Let me pull it out a little bit. Ooh. Alright, that's the stomach. So out with this. Is also going to pull the spleen, which is going to be. Yeah, that's cool. My question is do fish have appendixes? Um, I don't think so. I don't think they have appendixes. You know, they have like these things that like projections on their stomachs. They have enzymes in them that help them digest. I don't think they have an actual appendix as well. Okay. I don't even think all of the so, mammals have an appendix. We're going to pull this out here. And actually, it's already fallen out, so... This red, this, this red guy right here, that's, that is the spleen of the fish. Ooh. And so, here, we're going to squeeze the contents of the stomach out, and we're going to see what it had for lunch. Okay, I want you to cut, the, cut right here. With the snakes. You guys get to do the derby jobs? There you go. Uh, we're going to press the rest exactly. of this out. Mm. Mm. And then rummage around in here a little bit. What's this look like to you guys? When we did the herpetology, guys. Yeah, plant. Plant? Well, I'll tell you, these guys don't eat plants. So, any other guesses? Uh, so, Crate. You guys remember what we were catching, what we were trying to catch in the Ekman dredge? Right. Yeah. Macroinvertebrates? Yeah. 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 We got a couple of those guys. So I think this. I'm not good with my macroinvertebrates. But here's a whole. Here's a whole. Here's a whole little bug that came out of his stomach. I don't want you going too much. Anybody like to see that? Sit down there. Um, looks like these ones are a little bit more digested, but it looks like they're the same thing. That, oh, well. Well, that smaller one that looks more yellow looks like the same thing. Yep. So it looks like hey, we have another one of the same thing. Don't get upset. Here. Now, uh -huh. Kim, can you ID these? These are? 
Those are, those are mayfly nymphs. Those are mayfly nymphs? Okay, so, so those annoying are, mayflies that came out, that come out in June, better. these are their larval stage. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> he was feeding off these right off the bottom this morning. His mouth is moving. Oh, those little things uh, that went grab in any part of the water. So, so what else are we cutting? So... Yes, those things. What's that silver thing? It also like smashed into the building. Yes. Yes, it is a swim bladder. We'll get to the rest of that. So now we're going to finish pulling out the rest of the intestinal tract. Okay. Sorry, Bobby. Who hasn't gotten to make a cut yet? Uh... <laughs> you cut? I mean... Okay. Well, who hasn't got to do anything with the fish yet that wants to? I would love to. Here, you want to? Okay. Yeah. Here, Thanks. Excuse me, Bobby. Pass it in the scissors. Hey, Thank you, Bobby. All right. What am I cutting? Do you want me to hold the phone? No, I got Piper doing it. So, cut right. Cut all that connective tissue. Right here. Yep. Go on. Okay. And then uh, cut right, cut right at the base. Watch. Don't, don't cut that clear stuff right there. Up, up a little bit. There you go. That's good enough. So. This is the intestinal tract. You guys think this is short or long for an intestinal tract? That's pretty short. Uh, short. Yeah. You guys know the difference between long and in, long and short intestines? Mm -hmm. What animals will have long? Which which will have short? We so we have long and short intestines. Long and well, just the intestinal tract itself between long and short. So an animal that eats mostly other animals, so more of a carnivore, they'll have a much shorter intestinal tract than an animal that eats mostly plants. Does anybody know why? Because uh, plants are harder to break down. Yeah, it takes much more time to break down plants than it does animals, so they don't need as much time to go through the intestinal tract. So this guy, perch, like to feed on other macroinverts and uh, other small fish, so they tend to have a shorter intestinal tract. Large and small intestines. Uh, Trying to focus. Oh, no, no, no. That's blood vessels. What's all this over The blood air bladder? The swim bladder? So, last thing before we get to the swim bladder here. Like so, does anybody have any guess what this is right here? Uh, that's. Anus? Nope. No. Anybody have any other guesses what this, what this is right here? Is that the uh, swim bladder? Nope. Is that the, like, is that the brain? Nope. The brain is in the head. The intestine? So, these are the reproductive organs of the fish. Oh. So, this fish is a female. It has, you can tell the difference by uh, the color of their, um, of their organs. So, the female have more of a clear, and this one's pretty juvenile, so it's not gravid. If we would have caught a bigger one, it would probably have eggs in it right now. Um, if we were to catch a male, they would have white milk sacs which contain the sperm. Okay? So, does anybody want to cut this out? You're up. Yes. So, the, these fish are external fertilizers. So, the, the, um, depending on the type of substrate that they um, lay their eggs on, the female will go in and lay the eggs, and then the male will come in and spread his milk on those eggs. Milk. Milk. Oh, milk. He dipped her organ. Right down there. <laughs> Cut right at the base of that. We're all trying to record this. Right at the, right, yep. There you go, Bobby. Perfect. So that, right there. Autofocus. Come on. What is it? Oh, that's so, the yep. I thought we had something else. All right, so you guys have already guessed correctly on what this is. So this is the swim bladder. That's the sofa looking. Now, does anybody know why it's so bloated right now? Because, because it's so fast. Yeah. Does anybody know what that's called? Uh, oh, that's does anybody remember what it's depressurization. Can we poke it? Yeah, sure. You can. You can feel that. You can, uh, don't like don't, poke, don't poke it too hard, or else it might pop. Because it's already getting a little weak, but. If anybody wants to feel the air in that, you can. It's like one of them like plastic balloons that you pull out of the bag. That's what I'm saying. Can we take a thing? 
Borrow trauma. Borrow so, trauma. You get, so is the pressure at the bottom of the lake greater or lesser than at the top of the lake? A greater. greater. Greater, yeah. So what happens is these fish use this air bladder, this swim bladder, to be able to raise themselves and stay buoyant in the water column. So the yellow perch like to hang out at the bottom, and that's where we call it in our troll. And at the bottom, they're going to be dealing with a lot more pressure than at the top. So the air that's in their swim bladder when we pull it up is going to expand a lot, <coughs> causing barotrauma. So when we have a full swim bladder like this, as you might have seen when it was kind of <coughs> swimming around in the bucket that we had, it was way at the top, and it was kind of flipped over, it was trying to swim back down, but it really couldn't. And that's because its swim bladder was so full of air. Now, sometimes this gets so serious that when you pull a fish up, its swim bladder will actually push the rest of its internal out, internal organs out of its mouth and out of its anus, oh. and it normally causes the death of fish. Um, is that what happened to the no, one big, bigger fish that we they caught? Um, the one bigger fish that we caught most likely died because of just getting what beat up trauma. in the yeah. So when we pull, when they're pulling a trawl like that, basically you're just pushing a bunch of stuff against that fish, and what probably happened is it got caught sideways in the in the net, and then just got caught there and just blunt force trauma. Oh. Which is a pretty awful way to go. Yeah. I mean, if it's blunt enough, then yeah. it's just instantaneous. So what happens if you pop oh. that? Is it just like... Well, we can. It's really? about to pop now, so... It'll just be a release of air. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Was, That's it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's not that pressurized. Alright, so now we're going to remove the eyeball. Ooh. All right. Anybody not cut that wants to cut? Not me. Anybody that hasn't cut? You. Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to try now. Who's got the scissors? Uh, uh, this All right. So, what you're going to want to do here is kind of oh. get in underneath the eye and then oh, cut around it no. and try and cut it out. Okay? I really want to get this one. <laughs> I believe in you. Me too. You got this one. Right. So, I'll try and seen. help you out. Get it in underneath there. the eye and try and disconnect it. Get that, get it in there. Oh, oh that's weird. Oh, dang. Oh. I got, do you want it from this angle? It's blocking me. <laughs> Doing good. Oh. Oh, the poor eyes. The poor oh. eye. He can't feel it. Has anybody Her ever watched that movie, See No Evil? <laughs> Or saws. Yeah, but they ne he never popped anybody's eyes out. Yeah, he did. Not yet. There you go. I mean, he's stabbed eyes. Wait, he never popped me, them let out. Let me pull it back out for you. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Oh, it's it's Cut around the back side of it. Oh, God. Oh. There you go. Finish it off. Finish her. That's good. Good to have it. All right. So? Can I have a heart? Can you take out his brain? There's the eyeball. Oh, I want to take out the brain. Can I have an eyeball in a heart? No, you guys unfortunately can't take any of this stuff out. So, now we're going to cut this open and look at the inside of the eye. Ooh! I'll do it. Anybody else who hasn't done anything? Me. Teachers. Who oh, cut the heart? You guys do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. All right. Uh, um, you. Oh, here we go. So, I'm gonna try and pull that hand like this. Because you're right next to him. Pepper. Don't come at me with that. I'm not the one who's cutting it. And just cut it open. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> Try and get a better hold of it here. Okay, it worked with me, Satan. Ew. There we go. <laughs> just awesome. Um, what's your name again? Everybody going? Josh. Josh. He's not something like that. And? That was ew. So cool. Ew. Who's that black stuff?
Oh. Are you taking out its yeah. pupil? What are oh. you doing? It's trying to get its lens out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Yummy. I don't know if YouTube's gonna like this. Okay. YouTube is not gonna like this. <laughs> it's demonetized. Oh, <laughs> oh, so much. Hey, make sure you, you uh, tag it somewhere. I will. Whatever you guys post on whatever you're posting so, on, tag it See that somewhere. little clear ball that came out of there? Does anybody know what this is? That's that is a lens. lens. That is a lens, correct. Alright, who remembers what the lens does? Uh, focuses all the light into one place, that way you, you retina can actually tell what it is. Correct. Alright. Can we get to neat. do the Can we pull out the blank too? Oh! Um, Wait, do we have time? Yeah, we have time. Yep. Yes! We have time can I take I've out a screen? I've never done that. Oh, I don't know if it's not perk, so... Also, um, do you guys check out those tenoid scales? Oh, no, they have not. Anybody wants fish to... So, so, yeah. Um, I don't want to touch the fish. If you run your hand down like that, it should feel smooth. And then run back like that, it should feel rough. <laughs> showing that it is too Thank you, Piper. Okay, focus. Yeah. And that, right there, over there. So Anybody else? Yep, there's the lens. Oh, this is going to be awesome. The brain. It feels like a cat's tongue. <laughs> Anybody else want to feel it? Poor fish. Yeah, no, I'm good. No, I'm gonna take out his brain. I, I can't wait to. I can't wait to get that. Anybody else? No. No. Do you want to touch the fish brain? So. All right. We'll move on to the gill real quick. I'm good. So. All right. Who wants to cut more? Ooh, Here. Piper does. Can I take my cutting? Oof, what am I cutting? Okay, so you're going to cut out one of these gills. One of them? Yep. Oh, so you want to cut at the base the right here and at the base over there. Right, right there. Let's see. No, other side. At the, the one on the top here. The top one? Yep. There you go. You got to cut through the white part. There you go. Okay, and cut the other side. Okay. So, what's that thing? This is the gill. Anybody tell me why that portion's red? Uh, there's blood on it. Yep. So basically, what happens is. The blood runs into these little filaments here, and as it opens and closes its perculum, it's pushing water over that. And when it does that, um, oxygen exchange is happening, and so oxygen will enter the body through those uh, little gill filaments. And actually, the blood in these gill filaments runs the opposite direction of the direction of the water flow going in. Does anybody know why? Uh, oh, hi, Mr. No. More, more water being going to push over it. Kind of. So, doing that, it allows more exchange by having them going in the opposite direction instead of having them going the same direction. It'll allow for a quicker or a better exchange. And then, you guys see the little projections? Yeah. Coming off there? Those are called the gill rakers. So, what these do is they help, um, for a fish like this, it'll, these gill rakers will help hold any prey that it grabs and it'll hold it in its mouth. Um, and then now back to the fish. The brain. Okay. Ooh, Ryan wants to cut. Yeah. Okay, Ryan. Say hi. So to get into the brain, you're just gonna cut. So this is that pick cut. You're gonna cut this way in okay. between the eyeball. So the brain's gonna be maybe about there, and then you're gonna cut straight, just straight that way. It's gonna be kind of thicker. So this, you're cutting through like the whole part. Yeah. Um, so be careful with your fingers. Um, it's gonna be kind of. Tough. YouTube, don't be mad. Let's get through it, but it's doable. Stay fresh. So right here. Yep, and try to cut down pretty deep. Stay mad. Like might, this. Yeah, and you might cut the brain in half, but that's okay because we're just trying to locate it and see generally what it looks like. More dissecting. I'm surprised you could do this, but you can't donate blood. 
I'm actually, oh. Oh, that sound. Oh. So let's see if, yeah. Let's oh. see if the... I'm absolutely terrified of needles. Yeah, I don't mind oh, dead so things. So you might have to cut a little bit farther down. So try to get your scissors in that cut that you made already. I'm going to cut further down. Oh. All right, so let's see here. This is pretty good because it was a little bit off center, so we can see kind of the side, That's the side of the brain. Yeah, so the little white thing in there is the brain. Ooh. Can you see that? Over there? I I I can't see that. A little white thing up top here. Oh. There's also. Oh, can you point it out? Right. Oh we got big ten on the brain. So this right here. Right there. Here. Oh, no, I love that. There's also going to be an otolith in there. But I'm glad he was dead because he would not have been happy. If you want to show him that. That's one thing I've never done. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of awkward because they're really hard to see and you kind of end up like digging around and then. Yeah. So at this point, you can have them like wash their hands, and then if you want to try to show it to them. Uh, I want to give credit to you guys real quick. Thank you guys for this amazing trip. This is 100% amazing. I've never dissected anything before. Amazing. So we're looking for an otolith, which the is your bone. Oh. The fish. Yeah, it's a little calcium carbonate structure. Ooh, it's a nice looking brain. It might also be really small since this fish is small. So we do have another one over there already. If you want to show them that one. Um, I'm glad I didn't touch the fish. Is that is that the ear bones of a fish? Yep. These are the ear bones. These are the odolo. Oh. Thank you, Miss Dunn, for bringing us on this trip. You're welcome. And Miss Rossler. Oh. And Miss Petaway.